Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Burnett. And out front tonight, gone too far. Today, Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein proposed a new federal ban on some assault rifles and semi-automatics. Now, she certainly got it right visually. When she was standing there today, she had a backdrop of some of the guns she wants to ban, and it included, and very prominently, a Bushmaster like the one used in the Newtown Massacre. There was also a circle of uniformed law enforcement officers and gun violence victims. This was rolled out with pomp and circumstance. But did she get the message right? She herself admits that getting this passed will not be easy. If anyone asks today, can you win this? The answer is, we don't know. It's so uphill. Uphill is right. The fact of the matter is that gun violence from assault weapons is estimated to be between 2 and 8 percent of the gun crime in this country. So is this how Democrats should be spending their time? Or are they overreaching and risking chances for success? Roland Martin joins me along with Raihan Salam. Good to see both of you. Roland, let me just ask Likewise. you the point, by, point blank question here. Dianne Feinstein coming out with this bill. Can it pass? Look, you don't know until you actually take the effort. I think it's crazy when we say things such as, well, it's a small piece. It sort of reminds me of, of the federal budget, Aaron, when we say, oh, it's only a drop in the bucket. Well, every little bit helps. I don't have a problem if we have an impact uh, on guns that could affect 2 to 8 percent. Then guess what? Let's do it with the next 10 percent, the next 20 percent, the next 70 percent. So you make the effort. And if you fail, at right. least you tried. At least you're trying to do something, but doing nothing, that to me is ridiculous. All right, it's a fair point, Roland, but what about some of the, the, the majority of the violence, the handgun violence in this country, the inner city violence and the crime? That's where most of the deaths are. You and, tackle right. all of it. But Sigendo. if you only have the political capital for one thing, that's what I'm trying to say, right? Well, it's going to be an uphill battle. Do you think it's smart to use it on an assault weapon ban? Here's your deal. I, I don't necessarily believe you have the political capital to do one thing. This is how Washington, D.C. works. We can only do one thing at one time. So mm -hmm. it's not as if you can do gun control and immigration and the debt ceiling. Guess what? We're paying these people. They have tons of staff. They can do more than one thing. The question is not, do you have political capital? The issue is, do you have political courage? That's what you need to see more from politicians, courage, and not so concerned about whether or not they'll get reelected. Raihan, Senator Feinstein obviously saying it's an uphill battle, but she pointed at what the voters want. And she's right about that. Voters support an assault weapons ban. 56% support, 44% uh, do not. Now, obviously, by party, if you broke that down, it could be different. Um, but, but, but again, this question to you, if there is the will to do not a lot on guns, but something, is this the something? I think absolutely not, and I think it's really important that you noted that statistic earlier on. But another thing to note is that a lot of the folks who answer that question don't necessarily know what an assault rifle is. These assault weapons are defined essentially by cosmetic features that the gun has, like the kind of grip that the gun has. These are not machine guns. An assault rifle is the kind of gun where you fire once, you fire one bullet. Machine guns, on the other hand, have been effectively illegal since the 1930s. So the truth is that what we're seeing is a situation in which people want to do something, they want to take a symbolic action. But I think you're absolutely right. There are things that could stem the tide of handgun violence that would likely be far more effective. And if Congress was going to get to work on something, they really ought to get to work on that. The trouble is that that doesn't necessarily resonate with the activists in this issue who oftentimes don't really understand what an assault weapon is. But so I think that's a huge, huge be, problem. Issue also goes beyond the Congress, Aaron. This is the problem. We keep looking at Congress, but you have state legislatures, you have uh, city councils, you have different governmental entities that could take the step to to make some changes. All I'm simply saying is let's not act as if, well, this one thing is really not going to help. I simply believe in the notion every little bit helps. All right, let me